Welcome to the Department of Design and Engineering at Bournemouth University and thank you for your interest in our programs. We hope this presentation helps in making your decision on which course is best for you. Based on two different campuses, Bournemouth University is a diverse community with 2,000 international students. PUs of international reputation being listed in the top 200 of the Times Higher Education Young University Rankings 2018, which makes us feel very proud. Our main capital investments have been in modern resources and infrastructures, including a student centre, a fusion building, with seminar rooms, studio space and eating facilities, a recently refurbished sports centre and design and engineering innovation centre, where our workshops are. There are many student clubs and society students can join, and also bars and restaurants on campus and in town that will make you feel part of a vibrant community of staff and students. Design and engineering programmes are based within the Faculty of Science and Technology. The faculty has around 3,000 undergraduate students and the Department of Design and Engineering around 550 students studying one of our various programmes. Learning at Bournemouth University may be quite different from the past experience of students. We encourage interaction between staff, students and their senior peers. That is why all our programmes have a programme leader each student has a dedicated academic advisor to support students in particular areas where they might be struggling and there is a student support and engagement coordinator where students will be able to discuss confidentially and away from the team if they wish so. We also ran a peer assisted learning system where senior students support the integration of first year students into university. Based on what we do for supporting students, we were the first university to be commended by the Quality Assurance Agency for Higher Education for the quality of student learning opportunities in 2013. Teaching is delivered with a balanced mix of lectures, small seminar groups and tutorials. By splitting assessments into small chunks of coursework, lecturers can give feedback that we can then use to improve on our next assignments. All support we need, including teaching materials, discussion forums, timetables and library resources, are accessible through a virtual learning environment called Brightspace. We've been in design education since 1989 when the Innovative Product Design Programme was developed. This was the first of its type in the country and the Institution of Engineering Designers in defining the accreditation standards needed to become a recognised product design course then adopted the Bournemouth Programme objectives. Now all of our courses are based on this long history of design education and have changed and evolved up to date with the latest industry requirements. Being a university, we also engage not only in education, but in full research and professional practice. This allows us to develop new knowledge and innovative ideas that are passed on to our students, and to work with professional bodies and different companies, which link all developed into real-world case studies to bring into our programs. This opens up access to a professional network of designers and engineers. While students and graduates go through their careers, they can use that accreditation to become registered product designers or incorporated engineers. Typically after a bachelor's degree, up to chartered technological product designers or chartered engineers in the case of an integrated master's degree, which are important professional titles to have as these recognitions open more opportunities for students in our careers. We're very excited to say that we have recently had our new Design and Engineering Innovation Centre opening. These facilities host a new modern workshop environment. We've integrated virtual reality into our enhanced prototyping centre for 3D printing. We have incorporated an electronics laboratory and manufacturing centre. And we have two labs, one that deals with mechanics, dynamics and materials, and another with heat and thermofluids. When using these facilities, students are continuously supervised by a dedicated team of highly qualified professionals who support students during all the time they spend in the Innovation Centre. Um, we have students going all over the world for different companies. The fee for the placement year is a fraction of the normal fee to cover the admin support. And at the same time, we would also be expecting students to get paid for the work that they are doing while they are out there in industry. Um, that experience is invaluable for their final year and as they move on into their full careers, as this experience is also recognised by the professional bodies. 
Our employment rate of students who are employed within professional role within six months of graduation is extremely high. In fact, many of our graduates have succeeded in joining the world's most renowned companies in their sectors, or they've created their own success stories through startups with the commercialization of their own ideas, some of which they developed while still here at university with us. My name is Meran Kugilani and I'm the program leader for Design and Engineering Masters and I shall be taking you through this presentation. Upon arrival and the initial enrollment, you will spend your first week with us in what we call the pilot week or the induction week, where you will get the chance to meet the staff, have an introduction to the course and uh, learn about the academic life and the how to basically work smarter and meet friends and socialize. We currently run three master's programs within the department and on this slide you can see where they sit in relation to the design engineering courses at undergraduates or where the continuation from their undergraduate degree would be. For example, as you can see, the MA Design Management sits right along where the BA courses are and the MSc Engineering Project Management and MSc Mechanical Engineering Design are both at the uh, BSc end or the more analytical end of the spectrum. Our first postgraduate course is an MA in Design Management. The role of the design management covers aspects of project management, design and strategic planning to administer a creative process in a professional environment. This will appeal to design organizations as well as engineering employers for the advancement of candidates holding a first degree or equivalent qualifications. The aim is to enhance existing skills and abilities by enabling a systematic approach to design and decision making process. And of course, the course content, as you can see, is designed to meet those aims, as mentioned in the previous slide. Another of our postgraduate course is MSc Engineering Project Management, which is a dynamic profession and requires you to be up to date with new developments and philosophies. Therefore, you need to understand and employ management and technical tools and be able to spearhead and manage the development of new products and projects with the appropriate technical and analytical tools. Again, as you can see, the course content is designed for you to be able to achieve the requirement of the course. Our last but not least MSc program is called MSc Mechanical Engineering Design. It is the most technical MSc in our portfolio. It is designed to develop comprehensive knowledge of the uh, various manufacturing processes and their limitations, helps you with mathematical and computer-based models for solving problems within the engineering and design industry. Again, as you can see, the course content is designed for it to be able to achieve its aims uh, as set by both institutions of engineering designers and institutions of mechanical engineers. Thank you for showing interest in our postgraduate courses. Please do not hesitate to contact either myself or my program support officer, Ruth, on the contact details shown on the slide. We are more than happy to answer any questions and uh, make any recommendation that is necessary. Thank you again.